And ahead of the launch of Chandrayaan 3 on the 14th of July, in a big exclusive, former ISRO chief K. Shivan spoke to Republic TV and exuded confidence in the mission. Watch what the former ISRO chief had to say. The USA, the uh, Russia and China are the only three countries uh, who have successfully gone ahead and uh, landed uh, a lander and a rover on the moon as well. And now India is also on its uh, path as well. But uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has now and again been stressing on Atma Nirbharta how to go about, uh, you know, enhance it and uh, also create uh, uh, economy and inside India in itself. So do you think that this opening up of uh, the space economy for the private players uh, will have a large role to play in it as well? Yes, yes, definitely. We are sub this the, the, the whole idea of uh, opening up the space sector for private industry is from mm -hmm. the, came from that our honorable uh, PM. Yes this one he only that initiated uh -huh. and i would say that it is a, it is a it, it is a excellent idea okay. i would say okay so it is a fantastic idea uh -huh. and uh, it is a, it's a very bold decision mm -hmm. we are still that time we have one organization is the government based organization 60 years yes and uh, breaking that uh, link mm -hmm. and uh, making the private people to do the, the activities is a really a bold decision mm -hmm. by our honorable PM. Okay. And uh, definitely because of that, what happened is that the new new development okay. will happen inside indigenously inside India. Okay. Okay. Yes. And not only that one, that uh, we can make the rockets, spacecrafts for other countries also. Yes. So whatever the things our Atmanibar Bharata, whatever we are giving, talking, mm -hmm. it will happen mm -hmm. and we can see the fruit maybe some few years from now. So already What's the, your estimate time, sir? Now I feel that another two years we can we can see that it started flowing in. Even wow. recently I have seen that uh -huh. that is a as a first step. Mm -hmm. We have uh, that uh, transfer the tech, uh, PSLV technology to industry to make. Okay. And what I understand that is that is uh, the, now the industry is able to make PSLV indigenously, mm -hmm. independently. Mm -hmm. Before the time, whatever they it is agreed. Wow. So that way things are going very fast. So in another, uh, that, uh, the, what I understand is that uh, by next year uh -huh. also that is the, the industry is going to supply, industry made PSLV is going to come. Great sir, tremendous. I mean, this one. that's that's a big statement. So what I am trying to tell is this, that uh, whatever that uh, Atmanibar Bharata, whatever that uh, vision, whatever we had uh, based on that, that our honorable PMs, uh, the vision of making open up the space vector, mm -hmm. really started giving its fruits uh, now itself. Okay. But uh, within uh, next year itself, it will start giving. It will start giving. Amazing, sir. So now, slightly going ahead, shifting our focus to ISRO's most ambitious project, which is the Gaganyaan. What is the sort of progress that we are seeing in Gaganyaan and uh, is it already up, up to the mark? Is it on the way that according to the timelines has it proceeded or do you think that there has been some delays in Gaganyaan as well? See, Gaganya and uh, the project is a uh, very highly te technology oriented. Okay. That is number one. Now we need to have a launch vehicle, mm -hmm. which is a human carrying launch vehicle. Correct. Till now we are carrying the only satellite. Yes. But now to carry human, definitely certain amount of uh, the, the reliability, uh -huh. minimum amount of reliability of the vehicle should be there. Okay. So, we have to make the launch vehicle as a human rated. Okay. That is the first aspect. Mm -hmm. That That is a one thing. Okay. Second one is, once we are launching the astronauts into the space, mm -hmm. what happened is, that is a, we have to create a conducive environment for the astronauts to live in the space. Mm -hmm. So, we have a crew module mm -hmm. and inside the crew module, we have the environment control and life support system to create the situations 
exactly on the earth so that they they not face any problem this is another technology mm. and uh, th- uh, third one is that is uh, when it is uh, coming back from that uh, orbit to earth mm-hmm. it will undergo very severe thermal environment mm-hmm. so we need to protect the 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 crew module against the severe environment mm-hmm. and the fourth one is it has to come and land exactly the designated location mm. so that people can go and pick up the astronauts mm. so in in all these four areas that is is a highly technology oriented uh, uh, mission is on mm-hmm. that a tremendous progress has been uh, made in uh, the 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 uh, last uh, that a uh, five years or so okay sir on this particular project this one on this technology development mm-hmm. only thing is that is uh, we could not uh, meet the deadline mm-hmm. because of that uh, two years we have lost because of covid covid mm-hmm. so now the things are uh, clear mm-hmm. and the, uh, the development work is going on very fast mm-hmm. and the development has completed Mm. the design is completed mm-hmm. now it is in the, uh, getting into the, uh, the testing phase okay and uh, once we are uh, having passing through the, all the testing phase mm-hmm. and the demonstration mm-hmm. phase then it will go with a unmanned mission that is uh, without any, uh, any human mm-hmm. without any crew that it will go mm-hmm. unmanned mission for two two times they will launch mm-hmm. then once the it is the performance of the mission is satisfied mm-hmm. fully mm-hmm. then it will fly with a human as that's a, that's our dream okay